I loved her. And I even asked her to marry me one day. I was like, nah, she said no. But you know what, I understood. R. Kelly causes uproar in the entertainment industry after the Lifetime documentary premieres. Tons of celebrity and fans have been reacting to R. Kelly's Lifetime documentary, Surviving R. Kelly. The six episode series exposed the Chicago singer to a lot of seekers that happened during his career. With social media, more things are coming to light about the singer's dark past. One of the most viral clips that has been circulating around online is this clip of R. Kelly saying he had a really strange relationship with his mother. Roll it. She had this cheap lipstick and she would taste the coffee to make sure it was uh, sweet enough. And she'd leave the ring of lipstick on the coffee from which she tasted the coffee. And I remember when she would give me mine, when I would sip from the cup, I would turn it around and I would drink from her lipstick part. In a son mother way, I had a serious, serious crush on my mom because she could sing her butt off. And uh, I just looked up and down to her. I looked around, I looked everything about my mother. I loved her. And I even asked her to marry me one day. I was like, nah, she said no. But you know what, I understood. This clip is just the tip of the iceberg. The documentary series covers him in a different light. A few celebrities had to speak about Kells. The singer Neo went to his Twitter to say this, there is no excuse. Music is important, it really is, but it's not more important than protecting our children and little girls, period. Meek Mill also went to his Twitter to say this, it doesn't take rocket scientists to see what's going on, but I'm trying to figure out why did they let it go on for so long? Actress Jada Pickett went to her Instagram page and she recorded this video in response to R. Kelly's music, his streaming numbers going higher since the premiere. Roll it. So I got an article this morning about how R. Kelly's music sales and his streams have spiked substantially since the release of Surviving R. Kelly docuseries. And I'm having a really difficult time understanding why. But I think it's important that I understand why. I really would like for you guys to help me understand what I'm missing. And I really don't want to believe that it's because black girls don't matter enough. Or is that the reason? So let me know. And last but not least, CEO of No Limit Records, Master P speaks on R. Kelly. Roll it. His mother, he has another Mary. Oh, man. man. Come on, dog. Let me tell y'all. Y'all want me to be y'all real because it might hurt some people's feelings. I tell y'all about R. Kelly. So what I got to... Lifetime just made a lot of money. Everybody knows Lifetime is. That's a reality show. Six seasons, six episodes of that. Let's be real. Now, the truth, what I don't like, the parents, if you somebody daddy and you knocking on the door, pitching them when they got your daughter, now y'all know, I ain't going to be on no reality show a Lifetime. I'm going to be on CNN. I don't know if R. Kelly did it or not. That ain't my business. I ain't judging. But I'm just saying those parents shouldn't have let that go that far. Get that. I don't know if the man did it or not. They already know if he got if somebody been saying all them allegations about him, for one, my kid not even going up in there. Let's talk about this in the comments. Is this documentary here to tear down another successful minority? Or is it that social media is so big right now? A lot of people are starting to speak up for themselves, and now the victims are starting to be heard around the world. Comment below and make sure you vote in at the top right card. I'm in the news with it.